So we actually need a revolution in maths classrooms. We need to change a lot of things. And part of the reason we need to change so much is because research on maths teaching and learning is not getting into schools and classrooms. And I'm going to give you a stunning example now. Is really interesting. When we calculate, even when adults calculate, where a brain area that sees fingers is lighting up. We're not using fingers, but that brain area that sees fingers lights up. So there's a brain area when we use fingers, and there's a brain area when we see fingers. And it turns out that seeing fingers is really important for the brain. And in fact, finger perception is... Um, scientists test for finger perception by asking people to put their hands under a table, they can't see them, touching a finger, and then seeing if you know which finger has been touched. The amount that university students have good finger perception predicts their calculation scores. And the amount of finger perception grade one students have is a better prediction of maths achievement in grade two than test scores. It is that important. But what happens in schools and classrooms Students are told they're not allowed to use their fingers. They're told it's babyish. They're made to feel bad about it. When we stop children learning number through fingers, it's akin to halting their numerical development. And scientists have known this for a long time. And the neuroscientists conclude that fingers should be used for students learning number and arithmetic. We published this in a paper in The Atlantic last week. I don't know any educator who knew this. This is causing a huge ripple through the education community. We also know that when you perform a calculation, the brain is involved in a complex and dynamic communication between different areas of the brain, and including the visual cortex. Yet maths classrooms are not visual. They're numerical and abstract. So I want to show you now what happened when we brought 81 students onto campus last summer, and we taught them differently. So we taught them about the brain growing, we taught them about mindset and mistakes, and we, but we also taught them creative, visual, beautiful maths. And uh, they came in for 18 lessons with us. Before they came to us, they'd taken a district standardized test. We gave them the same test at the end of our 18 lessons, and they improved by an average of 50%. 81 students from a range of achievement levels told us on the first day, I'm not a math person. They could name the one person in their class who was a math person. We changed their beliefs.